we could be in a place where 10 years prior we would have killed to be where we are but we don't recognize it because we just see where the next person is and we think that's where we're supposed to be. Hi, don't I just look fabulous? What is up? It's me, Sarah Marie. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got a burn on my finger that I burned myself the other day and I think it's getting infected so that's not great but you know, besides that, we're doing good. I've had a lot of caffeine today because I was exhausted so now I'm doing much better. I currently look like this and there's nothing wrong with that. Newsflash, newsflash, we don't actually look like what we look like after we've spent like two hours getting ready to look like something we don't look like. Just just thought I'd let you know, in case you forgot. Human beings actually look like this, okay. I am about to go to work. So I thought I would get ready for work with you guys. This is going to be one of the first videos in my new series. I don't really know what I'm gonna call it yet. Maybe the anti-influencer series. Let's just get start getting ready. <laughs> so I'm gonna moisturize my crusty lips with the agave lip mask from Bite. This, this is fire. It tastes so good, but don't eat it. But it does taste really good in case you wanna eat it. Also moisturizes your lips very nicely. Why am I doing this video? Um, because, listen, when you're 22 years old, one of the biggest pieces of success or how you value your life is your job, your career. Why? I don't know. I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Coconuts Primer. I got this off of eBay. <laughs> don't know if it's real or not. Still don't know. Um, but I like it. So I'm going to put that on my face. I'm not sure why at this age, like early to mid 20s, the entire focus of our lives is what are you doing with it? What's your career? How much money do you make? Um, but it's kind of just how we value ourselves, which is really fucking sad. This is going to be my BB cream today. It's the Cosmetics CC cream. Muy bueno. So I'm at a position in my life where, <laughs> girl, let's just get real for a second. I know. 22 years old I graduated college in May and I am in a mountain of student loan debt yay like many other people I did not have enough money to pay for college because I don't know who has a spare 80 to 90 thousand dollars just like chilling but I did not when it came to going to school I what fell into the whole like, yeah, you have to go to college and you have to go to a good, well-known college or you're never gonna get a job sort of trap. And I paid a lot of money for school. Here I am. <laughs> so I graduated in May, right? And everyone says like, oh, you'll get a job after college. It'll have great benefits. You'll start paying off your student loans. You'll pay them until you're about 55 years old. And then you'll stop paying them off and you'll retire about 10 years later. That's your life, right? LOL. I am unemployed and I am no longer ashamed to admit that. Actually, I'm not because like I said, I'm getting ready for work because I am a well, sort of. I did make my life a little bit harder because when I graduated college, I decided to move across the country. I'm sick of doing the like safe route. I'm sick of like following the societal norm pattern. I, I'm done. We're done with that, honeybeans. We're going to move across the country because that's what I want to do. So I did that without a job and <laughs> let's just say when you move to a new city and you don't have any connections yet it's a lot harder to get a job <laughs> and i knew that but i don't know if i knew that <laughs> oh by the way i'm using the Too faced born this way concealer i got this one at tj max it looks different than a lot of the other ones people have but um i really like it so a lot of people make bartending their career because honestly you can make some good money girlfriend and not only can you make some good money but I decided to do that because um, obviously I need to like pay rent and survive, you know? But as I've been doing it, I've realized that I've felt some sort of judgment and like pushback from, you know, specifically baby boomers, so I won't lie. So just kind of make me feel like I'm not doing anything with my life, but I am. I'm living my life, I'm making money, and I'm, I'm having fun. That's living, you know? Honestly, like, it's not that I've decided I don't want to be a nurse. I'm trying to be a nurse. It just hasn't happened for me yet. And 
that's okay. We all have different timing. We all have different purposes. We're all on different journeys of life. We're all different human beings and we all have a different life that we're gonna have. And that's actually good, not bad. It's good because if we all had the same life, it'd be really boring, really boring. There would be zero interesting conversations ever. So if you're like me and you graduated college, you have a bachelor's degree, but you're not working in it yet because you haven't really been able to find something yet, I don't want you to feel bad about yourself because I want you to know how unbelievably normal it is. If you're someone who is thinking about going to college but it doesn't feel like it's right for you, I want you to listen to that voice and know that there are so many, so many careers and jobs that you can do without going to college and it doesn't make you any less intelligent. It doesn't make you anything less than anyone else. A college degree is just a college degree. It opens certain doors for you, but there are definitely people who don't want those doors opened. They want other doors opened. And some of those doors, you don't need a college degree, so why wouldn't you go for them if it's what you want? Like, just because society tells you it's not as good or, you know, your parents or your aunts on Thanksgiving, like, who is telling you you're not good enough? Who is honestly telling you you're not good enough? Because I can almost guarantee to you, it's yourself. No tea, no shade, but it's yourself. I set my face with the cover of a setting powder on my eye. And now I'm using the Urban Decay Sin Palette on my face. Here I am, I am happy to be working in the restaurant industry at 22 with a bachelor's degree and a mountain of student debt because you know what? That's my life's journey and wherever I'm meant to go, I'm gonna go. And I'm just gonna keep working hard like I always have and I'm gonna keep having fun with my life like I always have, and I'm not gonna feel bad about where I am in this situation of life. Your job does not define you. Your career does not define you. Who you are as a person, how you treat people, and your presence, your attitude, your vibe, if you will, that defines you. And you can have the coolest career ever. You can be getting paid so much money and be like the shittiest person ever. We've also met a lot of people with not so much money and not so much power and who are doing jobs that other people may deem as less than who are such amazing people because that's what defines your worth is who you are and how you treat people. Not your career, not your income, none of that ish. I'm going to do my brow dies with the goof proof goof proof <laughs> goof proof the brow oh my god i can't tell the goof proof brow pencil by the way when i'm doing my makeup i like to do something that's kind of natural not like super crazy but definitely plays up my features i will also say that working in the restaurant slash service industry for a long time now has taught me so much about humans and people and just how to uh, communicate like social skills my social skills have gotten so much better from being forced to deal with like petty conflicts like if someone didn't like their chicken i've had to deal with that for so long now that i know how to deal with bigger conflicts and more serious conflicts because i have to deal with little stupid conflicts every single day okay i know how to talk to people better i know how to make people happy i know how to present an issue in a calm way and i don't know honestly working in the service industry has made me not only a better employee for whatever i end up doing in my life no matter what it may be but it's also made me a better person i'm sweating like profusely just put on some mascara i'm using the l'oreal lash paradise voluminate mascara Ma mascara when it comes to student loans unfortunately the reality of it is yes you have to pay it off it's not just like you can forget about it um <laughs> it's always gonna be there that's just kind of the way society is set up do i think that's stupid yeah i really do i think that the conditions that our generation is going through was set up by another generation that didn't have to go through it and they don't understand people of the older generation genuinely do not understand what it's like to be 22 years old and have almost a hundred thousand dollars in debt before you have even gotten like your first job so much pressure to like have kids and buy houses and do all these big things but like we can't do that and not for a while because we have this student loan debt which is why i just want to stress again that if college is not for you don't go honey 
or just go to one where you can get a scholarship, a full ride, or that's not as expensive, that's a lot more in your means. I just like to put a little bit of bronzer on my eyes as eyeshadow, cause it blends with the face better. I think it's pretty and um, it's really easy. All right, so now we're gonna do my hair. Um, <laughs> she's caressing. She has not been washed in a little while. Not that bad. All right, so first we're gonna need some dry shampoo. This is Batiste. Live by dry shampoo. When you work till like 3 a.m., you're not washing your hair. You're just washing your body and then you'll get in bed and you'll go into bed, okay? Dry shampoo is your best friend. Also gives you lots of volume. Um, and yeah, and I know it makes you look like a grandma. You just gotta shake it out really well. Just shake it out, okay? I hope I'm not coming off as like an angry millennial in this video because honestly, that's not who I am. I'm not really an angry person at all. The only thing that I am is passionate and I'm passionate about people feeling okay as themselves. I'm passionate about people not comparing themselves to social media things. And I know frankly, I am really sick of the I am blessed and proud to announce that I am dot dot dot. Like I am blessed and proud to announce that I am fucking never writing one of those posts. Let me just tell you that right there. You wanna know why? Because it just shows that we're also insecure with what we're doing in our lives, that we have to get approval from everyone else the second we change something. Like, whatever you're doing in your life, you should be blessed and proud to announce it. That's how you should be living your life. Even if it's not what you had in your mind as your ideal situation, like make your life your ideal situation by being positive and, and just having a good outlook like everything you do in your life you're gonna learn something from you're gonna learn you're gonna grow you're gonna become a better person out of everything you do I went to school to be a nurse but I don't even want to be a nurse for the rest of my life like I want to grow and I want to do things and I want to change and and I want to experience many different life's possibilities and I don't feel the need to be stressed about the circumstance that I'm currently in because I know it's helping me to get whatever circumstance that I'm gonna be in next. And as long as I work hard and remain positive, that next place is gonna be great. I'm using a Hot Tools Curling Iron. This is the one and a half inch, I think. And I'm just gonna throw some random curls in my hair. Nothing done well, we'll say that. It's, it's pretty like haphazard pretty just like let's just throw some in there because we're just gonna brush it out and put it in a ponytail but if I don't do this I kind of look um, a little like I don't try at all which I mean that's fine but for work I like to look like I care a little bit you know what I mean it helps with tips as well when you are presentable any of you guys have any interesting stories that relate to this video at all or any comments or anything you want to add Please feel free to comment down below. I reply to the majority of my comments as long as they're nice and not very mean. I reply, and because I'm not gonna be fighting with anyone in the comments, I don't, I don't have time for that. But like, I love to have conversations with people. I love meeting new people, and uh, yeah, I'd love to know like your story or your thoughts on everything and and all that good stuff. So now that my hair is like Goldilocks curls, I'm just gonna shake it out a little bit. Just give it a little zhuzhy zhuzh. I have to have it up, so I'm just gonna put it back in like a little low pony situation. I like to leave out some front pieces just cause I feel like it helps frame your face nicely. Sometimes I'll do like a little braid, sometimes I'll do like a high pony, but the majority of the time my go-to is just like this fluffy, voluminized, curly low pony with a middle part. And I actually get a lot of compliments on it, which is weird because <laughs> it's so easy, but that's that. I really like these type of hair ties, the like plastic ones that are very trendy right now because they give you more of like a voluminized, like sporky, is that a word, look to your ponytail, if that makes sense. Literally, I'm allergic to like all earrings. My ears just like reject them. But if you have nice ears that like you, some hoops, or are you snatched? I'm gonna go find like some sort of lip product. I keep putting all of my lip products in the washing machine and 
murdering them, but I'm gonna go search for one that has not been melted. Be right back. So for lippies, I like to do something that's a little bit more long wearing. Typically, like on an everyday basis, I just wear like chapstick or lip gloss, but for work, I like using some sort of lip pencil. So this one's by NYX. This is in the shade Rose, and I'm just gonna fill in like all of my lips with this. On top, I'm just gonna add this lip paint from Tarte in the shade Birthday Soup. And once this dries down, this will last me like all night and I'll keep it in my pocket so I can like reapply when I go to the bathroom. Hence why I always put them through the washing machine and melt them. Let's stick on my teeth. Nope. So now it's time to smell good because smelling good is always fun. The first step for me is lotion. I love this lotion. This is the Dr. Teal's Body Lotion in Eucalyptus and Spearmint. If you like smelling fresh and like not super feminine, this is your lotion. It's got almost this like, not masculine, but just like very clean, very fresh, very like sexy. Is that a good word for it? Scent. And if you have the perfume Chanel Eau Fresh, that's my favorite perfume. This goes so well with that perfume. It's almost like the lotion-y version without being as intense, if that makes sense. So I'm just putting this all over my body. It's like me nice and sensicles and also moisturized because I just showered. Oh, I forgot to mention, you should probably shower before you get ready. I showered, I didn't wash my hair because like I said, we ain't got a lot of time for that. That's for the days off. Okay, so for my outfits, I always need to wear all black. That's pretty much standard for bartenders. So I found some of my favorite black pieces, which I will share with you. Um, number one is this shirt. This is from ASOS. ASOS has an amazing collection of black clothing. I highly suggest checking out ASOS. Um, this one is super cute. I'll link it down below. I just love how it fits. I love the like sleeve length. It's very comfy, very cute. Pants. Pants are key because you have to be comfortable, but you have to be cute, you know? So let me show you my pants. These are the pants that I am wearing and that I typically wear. I have these and then a pair from ASOS that I wear, but these ones in particular are the American Eagle mom jeans. And they're just really cute. They fit nicely. They're comfortable. What can I say? For shoes, I probably wear an unpopular shoe for this, so I'm just gonna bring it to you and show you what I wear, but I understand if you, if you don't wanna wear this shoe. It's, it's not the most comfortable. <laughs> These are the shoes that I wear. These are the Doc Martin Platform Chelsea boots. They're so cute, they give me some height, they make me feel like confident, which I think why I like them so much. They're also really durable, and for being the kind of shoe they are, they're honestly really comfortable. I wear these for like eight hours at a time, and I'm okay. My feet aren't dying. I'm only 5'3", so whenever I have like the opportunity to wear some form of shoe with a height that's comfy, you best believe I'll be taking it. <laughs> right, I am all ready. To go. Typically I'll work something like 6 p.m. to like 2 a.m. that kind of situation but honestly times vary and you're pretty much always working late but that's just the, the territory you know. That's everything that's this video I am now ready to go to work as a Miami bartender and Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys are new to my channel I make new videos every single week specifically on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at least at least that's what we're doing so far. I love you so much and remember to stay true to you. See you in my next video. Bye guys.